I'm back and today I'm gonna teach you something else. Just like my previous video, pro players don't want you to know this. This is another pro tactic, something that isn't used. I think the few people that have used it didn't even know that it was something. I've used it and when I use it, it works really well, but it's something that you have to get ingrained into your brain and it, I just can't get it ingrained so I don't use it near enough. But by and large is one of the best ways to actually juke incoming salvos. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm giving away these secrets, but I'm gonna give it away to you right now. All right, so let's break this down. How to dodge shells. I mean, there's only two ways you're gonna dodge shells. Graphic. So there's two types of dodging. There's left and right, obviously with the rudder, and there's acceleration and stopping. So basically we have two planes here. Now a lot of people put them together. Sometimes you don't have to. Sometimes whenever you put it together and you do it multiple times, whoever's shooting at you will correct for that and they'll aim for that. But I'm gonna teach you something right now that's definitely something you're, when I tell you about it, you're gonna be like, oh, duh. Let's back up and I'll add this one thing. If you're not running propulsion mod on your battleships, what are you doing? And I say that because a lot of people uh, including one of the biggest YouTubers for the game, doesn't run propulsion mod, and it absolutely blows my mind considering every single pro player, every super unicum in the game, they run propulsion. Being able to accelerate 50% faster versus have two seconds knocked off your rudder is not even a close 50-50 choice. You always, always take propulsion mod. The only exception is maybe champagne, maybe repub, but I'm here to tell you I had to take it off because it's just, eh, do you want to accelerate over the next minute or do you want to get up to speed? So if you don't have it, go put it on there. That being said, one of the best ways to dodge battleship to battleship salvos is simply by slamming on the brakes or slamming on the gas. Simple fact, if you are at range and you keep going full forward and hitting the brakes every time, number one, that guy might pick up on it. Number two, you're gonna drive yourself out of the, the range you need to be and then you're not gonna be able to shoot him. Then you're gonna have to turn and go bow in or you're gonna have to back up angled. I'm gonna start forcing myself to use this more because it just simply works. But whenever you're driving, like if you're, if you're stationary, right? You're not moving and someone shoots at you, it's real easy. Auto aim says they're not moving. They put it right there at the base of superstructure. They fire. You can't drive forward because your range, you're gonna be out of range or you dodge that by hitting the gas pedal. But in fact, you don't have to be sitting stationary. One of the, the longest times to acceleration is the zero to quarter speed. It's super, 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 super long. And that's with propulsion mod. It, it takes a long time to get going like five or six knots. The simple fact is five or six knots won't put you out of position. It won't take you too far away from whoever it is you're shooting at. But if you really need to go and you're sitting stationary, majority of the time, that person's gonna be able to hit you and take damage off of you. Now, if you're driving quarter speed and he shoots at you, that salvo, but you're gonna slam on the gas pedal, you're gonna see him shoot, that salvo is gonna hit behind your boat. It's just gonna hit behind your boat. Because you already, it's like going from um, from from standing still to a full sprint. You know, you get, it takes a couple legs forward to get the whole thing moving. Well, if you're already slightly moving and you slam on the gas, it's like going from uh, like a two jump into run. Like you're just, you're you're gone. And it's something that the pro players on PC do because on PC, they don't have auto aim. If we didn't have auto aim here, it would be like one of the greatest tactics ever. Because you, when you look at somebody, you really don't know when they're going quarter speed, are they stopping? Are they driving quarter speed? Are they accelerating? And nine times out of 10, you don't think that person's driving quarter speed. You just don't think it. So let's go, let's go play a game and I will, I will set up to drive quarter speed a lot. And I'm just telling you, personally, whenever someone, when I go to shoot at somebody, if they're driving quarter speed, I'm probably gonna miss. 
because I never expect people in this game to drive quarter speed. Nobody does it on purpose. But in reality, it's actually a really good tactic because you can get up to full speed so quickly and people misjudge if you're stopping. Because bear in mind, if they shoot and you see them shoot and you know that they shot forward, throw it in reverse and that salvo goes way over you. So let's go play a game. Let's see if I can make it work. I'm praying I can make it work this game and I can dev strike the pretty is hot to this boy. I'm coming for you, Tommy. I'm coming for you, dude. Tommy's here. Tommy's here. I mean, we're in a carrier game, so that super sucks. Carrier wants to come ruin all the fun, but we'll see. God, carrier, leave me alone, dude. I'm trying to blind fire Tommy right now. He's only firing two... Okay, course gets a flood. He's only firing two guns. We're flooding quickly. That's kind of tricky. Oh, there's the old radar from the Ochakov. I know I should shoot that DD, but I just want to kill Tommy so bad. I'll oh, make that turn. Oh. Do me proud, Georgia. Do me proud. Looks like it's a little Afton to the right. Oh, I think I put the fear of God in him. Look at him, dude. He's... He's scared, man. He's scared. Come on out, Tommy. This might actually kind of be perfect. So the way this map is orientated, I've got so much extra free room that I can move. Um, let's see if these guys will do it. <laughs> boy, boy, I will demolish you. Run. Oh, I don't know, dude. I took this shot. He's still sliding forward. I shot it behind him. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Tommy. I'm coming for you, dude. Tommy's here. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! It's a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Hot! Damn it, boy! All right, I just connected on this guy for 20K. All right, I got his attention. Shoot at me. Oh. He might not be shooting at me. He's got a friendly, he's got a Palmer in to go after. All right, it might not happen this game because their, their team is kind of falling apart and running and we're out here on the flank we got it locked down and secure but we'll try the next game i will say something is in the water is in the water dude because my georgia is just like oh i don't know what's going on i mean just just look at it i mean that's like that's like an ugly salvo this this is like i don't know is it returning to to glory i mean i just have to say it it's a decent game you know No! No, Georgia, you've betrayed me! No. On fire. So many decisions. Se please, secondaries, do your job. Kill that guy for me. Please. Oh, please. Oh, okay. Bye. Back on. No! No! Damn it! Nothing would be sweeter than taking this guy's gun. First shot off the rip. Mm, not gonna happen. Reddit it. Not gonna happen. All right, I gotta get the hell out of here. I give up. Dev Strike and Tommy's the highlight. I gotta go. I got a disappointment. But try utilizing that tool. Instead of going to full stop, drive forward at quarter speed. I know it works. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.